Hi, welcome to High Valley. Today I will interview Katerina Pretsnetsova, a Russian software engineer that made all her way from Siberia to the Silicon Valley to work for Credit Karma, a fintech company. Hi, Katerina, how are you doing? Hi, Henio, I'm doing good. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for being here. So, Katerina, tell me how was your career path from Siberia, Russia to Silicon Valley, California? So I got here nine years ago and uh, I didn't speak English. That was the most challenge for me. And it took me for a while to understand people, to communicate with people. And once I've done this, I started to think, what can I do next? Whom I wanted to be? I have a master's degree from Russia as accountant, but accounting here and accounting in Russia, it's completely different world. So basically I need to start to learn accounting again. And where did you work in Russia? In Russia I just finished university and next day I flew to New York. Wow, <laughs> so you don't have any work experience in Russia? I did. As a student we went, you need Had to find uh, an internship. So I, I went, I worked in a, in a bank and it was super boring. And like, okay, <laughs> I need to find something else. But I have my master's degree and in Russia you must to have a master's degree to be successful in any career, otherwise your family will be blaming you. <laughs> okay. Okay, you finished your master's and why the US? And why did you leave just right away? So it was my dream. I was always, I always knew I will move out from Siberia. It was a big mistake that I was <laughs> for some reason born there, Stalin involved. <laughs> I cannot change anything. And it was a university program, mm -hmm. it calls work and travel, and I applied and I got the visa. I got that opportunity and I decided, okay, let me, let me go, let me try it. I did not know if I will stay or not. So it was only for four months, basically. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to stay. I think this country can give you a lot of opportunities, and especially if you're a woman. So I came here and uh, I'm... When some friend, she told me about boot camp, engineering boot camp, and it's actually, I don't know, one mile away from here. Mm -hmm. And when I moved to California, to Silicon Valley, I decided, okay, let me see what program do they have, uh, if, I, if they will me, accept me to study. So I went to school, and yes, <laughs> they accept me to study, and after four months, of study and a lot of homework. I, my, my weekends, my evenings was completely booked. Study, 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 because after four months, you need to find a job, basically. I was working as a babysitter, mm -hmm. and half of the day I was study, and evenings I was study. Yes, it's very intense, uh, but if you want to achieve something, you need to work. So after four months, I got my first internship. It was in a networking wireless company, Quantena, in Fremont, and it was so challenging. That's that's my life started, basically. Why I, was it that because challenging? Because I didn't have any idea about networking. It's all network protocols, how Wi-Fi is working, all this UDP, HTTP, uh, so many protocols that have zero idea what those words <laughs> mean, what's the definition of them. And I have a screwdriver in my bag because uh, I work with routers. You need to open a router and connect chipset and run traffic through them and see what the result. So it was so challenging for me. And it's hardware. I was like, oh my God, what I did with my life? <laughs> <laughs> and how did you manage to learn all that that quickly? You know, people help. I was, I'm, I'm a shy person, but you need to communicate. If you need, wanted to learn something, you need to talk with engineers, you need to be nice with them, <laughs> <laughs> bring them some donuts sometimes, <laughs> uh, and get the information. So you need to, if you go to the meetings, you need to make notes for you. That's how I started. Because I didn't know those words, what's the definition of them. You need to ask after the meeting and oh excuse me <laughs> can I ask a couple it? questions yeah but it took me so one year it was incredible incredible it's the second school 
they mm-hmm. taught me a lot. I really appreciate those people. I still keep in touch with them. And they give me a future, basically. That they invest their time. And then I found the next job. It was in Groupon. Okay. And I stayed in Groupon almost for five years. So it was different journey. It's a software company. It was easier. Mm-hmm. You know, after a hardware company, you can do everything. <laughs> believe me. Groupon, Groupon. So it's ex- the same. It's experience. Yes, I went to school. I continue study uh, Java and uh, how to write more code, programming. But I have never got any degree in computer science. But you co- you always continue to improve uh, and yes. to uh, to learn new new coding and new things. Because it's very competitive world, you Mm -hmm. must to you must to learn something just uh, whatever is popular Mm -hmm. or what is in your company. If they get new new stuff coming, just talk to people, figure out, try to be involved, be proactive. Otherwise, if you're behind, you're behind. Okay, and and what's the thing to know right now in in your environment? So many technologies like new database, the way how we process data. Because Credit Karma, what I'm working currently, uh, all data is very secure, right? Mm-hmm. We get your social security number. Can you imagine if someone hack us? Yeah. We can close it next day, even like in a couple hours, like done. So how we save the data, how things work on different layers. It's amazing. It's fascinating what's happening here. And how were the interview processes in all these three companies? Especially at the beginning that you didn't come from that world. How were they? So I had three interviews and I got lucky enough. Next day I had an offer. Okay, that was at the networking company. It was networking company. It was Groupon. It was Credit Karma. Mm -hmm. And the first one, what was the process like? Did you need a whiteboard? Did you... No, it wasn't... So they just came and it was a very weird situation. They look at my resume and I obviously didn't have any engineering background, just small projects that I work at school and they have a master's degree in accounting and it was quiet. Some people started to take their cell phone and check something because they didn't even know what to ask me. Exactly. But I prepare so well, I study like nonstop, I learn everything about that company. So, and I asked him, oh, I heard you guys uh, working in wireless networking. Can you ask me some questions? <laughs> so, that's how we start interview. So, you ask them to ask you yes. questions because, because they didn't want they to do... like, who is this girl? What she's doing? Like, how come she's even come to the interview? Who put her resume? So, anyhow, I started to reply on their questions. And the guy who was on his cell phone, he put cell phone down. He like, look, oh my God, how do you know this? <laughs> Like, I study. So, of course, they ask me questions deeper and deeper, and I failed in some point. Uh, but they took three, three people out of 40, I think, students. Mm-hmm. So, and it was my first interview, and it was paid internship. And then how were the other processes? So the other processes, I prepared 24 by 7. I would say I cancel everything what was the week before the interview Mm -hmm. and you need to study. Mm -hmm. You need to repeat some basic that you forgot because you wouldn't have Google on interview. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You cannot ask. But what basics? What do you need to study? Just coding? About the company? About the business? I mean, it's better to have the full idea because you need to ask questions. You need to prepare in advance all questions because you will be stressed. You will be nervous. English is not our first language. Sometimes when I'm nervous, I forgot words. So you have a summary what they're looking for. Just go and circle around those words, those keywords, and learn from them. Mm-hmm. We have so many opportunities right now. Just Google it. Top Java questions, top Linux questions, database, what algorithms people ask on Facebook, on Google. It's Everything is open already. It's not a big secret anymore. And you need to go through and prepare. Believe it or not, they will ask those questions or similar questions. You can be very well prepared and technical. 
skills. You can write all code, all algorithms, but they will say, oh, she was not polite or she was not positive, or I don't feel she fit our culture, or I don't want to work with her, I just don't have a contact. So you need to be open to people and talk and be social. It's not only about your knowledge. Mm -hmm. So being social, being open, being positive, being... You no know, smile sometimes. I know you stress. Mm -hmm. It's probably not uh, <laughs> funny. Nobody wants to work with people who is negative or who is arguing with you. Sometimes I interview people and they started to argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> But the more you go to interview, the better you practice, practice. Practice is the key for everything. You talked about the difference of being a woman. How do you feel about being a female software engineer in the Silicon Valley? It feels amazing. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love to work with men. Yeah, sometimes it feels weird that you're only one woman in the, in the meeting. Sometimes I join the team. It's mostly men. They didn't know who I am. They look at me and think, oh my God, who is this alien? What she is? <laughs> what she, why did we choose her? So you basically need to prove yourself all the time. And sometimes it was so hard just to get this uh, approval. approval from them. Okay, she knows something or she can do something. She, it, literally... It was so hard and sometimes you even cry like, oh my God, what's happened with this guy? He's so arrogant. Why he cannot reply to me in polite way? But it might happen in any companies. Mm -hmm. We went to meeting and everyone gives their update and they skip me. I feel I didn't even know what to say. And I'm a very shy person. I just was quiet. So we, we went from meeting and I feel have something to say they didn't even ask me why the manager like, why why he skipped me he forgot about me I think I'm very visible yeah. <laughs> so that was very very bad feelings and how did you solve it did you start raising your hand or what did you do so did next you time it's manager? happened again okay so next time one of the my colleague he asked oh Kate do you have any update do you want to so, oh, so, oh, I apologize. Like, sorry, go, go ahead. I think I forgot to ask you. But later, maybe five months, he was fall in love with my skills. It's, it was incredible. We have like amazing relationship later, but in the beginning, it was so tough, like so tough. I hate him <laughs> <laughs> in, in a good way. Yeah, 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 I know. And Katerina, if you had to give two or three tips to someone who is abroad and wants to get a job and thrive in the Silicon Valley, what would you say to them? You need to have this eager to learn, to go and study. Yes, we all have full-time job, but in the evening I'm going to Stanford and get more classes and it's already happening. I don't know, once I, I, I never finished study. Once I finished university, I came to the US, it was English school, then it was programming schools, so now it's more, more negotiate. soft skills. Mm -hmm. Yes, soft skills, that's correct. And you need to be social. For instance, in Credit Karma, we have a music band that mm -hmm. I joined after two weeks of hiring. And at Groupon, I was co-chair of Women at Groupon. Mm -hmm. And I organized a lot of events and where I met so many women. And another challenging, you need to go to different levels of people and ask for money because to organize something you need to pay in Silicon Valley it's not a cheap place mm -hmm. so that's how you communicate and you grow basically Katerina you have an amazing story it's super nice talking to you and you have so much good things to tell people and inspire people abroad thank you very much for being here thank you for inviting if you liked our channel feel free to subscribe to like it or to share it Thank you.